Hi there, it's me again. Welcome to Fun Science Class with Mr. Pen. In the previous lesson, we have learned about different functions of legs, arms, fins, tail fins, and many other animal parts. We have observed that similar animal parts can have different functions for different animals. Today, we are going to learn how the shapes of animal parts relate to their functions. Hmm, hope you are interested, because science is fun. Alright, let's go! Animal parts come in different shapes, which enable them to carry out different functions. Follow me. These animals have body parts which help them to move efficiently. This is a sloth. It has long arms and legs which help it to climb trees. The seagull has wide wings which help it to fly. A dugong and goldfish have a broad tail which helps them to swim. Do you still remember this chameleon? Yes, the long tongue of a chameleon helped it to catch insects from distance. That's cool. Besides, an eagle has sharp claws to grab the food and hold onto it. Now, let's talk about teeth. By the way, have you brushed your teeth? <laughs> I'm sure you have. Based on their teeth, animals are divided into three types. First, plant eaters. These animals include horses and cows. It only plants. Look closer. The flat teeth of a horse help it to chew leaves and grass. Second, animal eaters. Some animals, such as tigers and cheetahs, eat only meat. That is why they have pointed and sharp teeth to tear meat. Third, plant and animal eaters. Animals, such as bears and mice, eat both plants and animals. Look at the bear. It has sharp teeth to tear meat and flat teeth to chew fruits. Oh, wow, it's a giant bird's nest. I wonder whose nest it is. Oh no, it's a giant eagle's nest. I gotta go from here. Whew, I'm safe now. Do you know that eagle eat meat? Yeah, the hooked beak helps them to tear meat. Oh, hello there. The short, sharp, and cone-shaped beak of a sparrow helps it to break seeds. Meanwhile, the long, thin beak of a hummingbird helps it to obtain nectar from flowers. What a beautiful, cute little bird. It is a kingfisher bird. It has a long sharp beak which help it to catch fish. Some birds eat other animals. Other birds feed on fruits, seeds, or the nectar of flowers. The beak of birds come in different sizes and shapes. This allow them to obtain different types of food. Do you understand now? Okay, now it's trivia time. Please answer my questions. Look at the picture. Giraffes have a long neck. 
How does having a long neck help the giraffes? Hmm, think about it. Number two. Do you know that some birds have a large colorful beak? Can you mention them? <laughs> we will discuss the answer on the comments. Please post your answer on the comments and your teacher will check it for you. Alright, that's all for today. We still have one more session next week which will be a unit review. Moreover, I will see you in a Zoom meeting to discuss our activity book. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay at home. See you next week. <laughs>